doing, dude? So this green turtle was taken from a net? Was caught in a net. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By fishermen. It just just by by it's a, it's accident. accident. Yeah, by accident. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then so when did it happen? It's happened this morning around six a.m. And um, your volunteers from so, uh, from uh, overseas are here to help. And they've measured the turtle. This is a green turtle? It's a green turtle. Juvenile? Juvenile. Do you know if it's a male or a female? Well, with that egg of a turtle, you cannot tell the sex mm -hmm. until maybe they're like some others, or others is when you can determine the sex through the size of the tail. Oh, so with males, they will have longer tails compared to females. Okay, so we don't know yet don't what know yet. is a male or a female, but it's a juvenile. It's a juvenile. And what kind of an environment did you find it in? Well, she was caught in the reserve. Mm -hmm. 9.845. 9.845. So you're documenting all the details yes. about her. New tag KES one six three zero. How many of these turtles have you guys actually uh, measured and uh, This would be my eighth turtle. Yeah. And you've only been here for a week? For a week, yeah. So this happens every day? We had eight quite yesterday often. or so. Yeah. There were quite eight a turtles rescued yesterday. yesterday. There's yeah. the turtle rescue ambulance over there. And um, um, are you using your phone? Children are very curious about what's happening here. <laughs> Turtle mug shots. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> like it's a little criminal. <laughs> oh. Uh, so Fakiri, this is your first call out for today? This is the first call out for today. How, how many more do you expect to get today? Well, it's still early, so like yesterday we rescued eight, so probably it could be more lining up later. And so what happens to the turtle after this? So the turtle looks healthy <coughs> and we'll be probably tagging her and then we'll be taking her behind our jeep and then we release her into the marine park after we have been tagged. Okay, yeah. so the tag is going where? On the left rear flipper. Oh so you guys get to put the tag on? Yep. They do flinch a bit when they get it. So it's got to be slightly painful? Yeah, I think it's like getting your ear pierced. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Getting your ear pierced. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got my ear. you got your nose pierced, yeah. so... <laughs> I've ever seen. It's got to be more painful than getting your <laughs> toe pierced. What could do with a figure in this one? Or in this one? Nani ya meshika hii? Moses. Ni wewe Moses? Yeah. Okay, umepata namna gani? Hmm? Umepata namna gani? Na net. Na net? Yeah, meshika net. You want to do it? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to hold. Okay, go for it. Perfect. That must be a bit annoying having to carry that tag around, but why do you need to tag it, uh, Fikiri? What's the point of tagging it? Well, with the tag we can monitor like, um, her movement around, mm -hmm. her growth rate and the migration pattern. Because this time she was caught in Jacaranda, maybe the next time she will be caught in the creek and that's how we would be easily monitoring for it. How many have you tagged? Uh, well, I would say 
a lot. Hundreds? Hundreds, yeah. So where is the furthest any of your turtles have been re relocated? Well, we have had cases where we have had our tags being found in South Africa. In South Africa? In South Africa, So they've yeah. swum all the way from Kenya to South Africa? Yeah, some of them come here as a foraging ground and go to South Africa as their breeding grounds. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. So this is gathering very important, yeah. valuable data yeah. on the movement of these oh, turtles. Because with that, we can even detect how fast they grow, where they move with all the tagging. Otherwise, if we don't place the tag, then there's no way we could monitor them. And uh, here is another turtle, another one being measured. Second turtle. 37.3. Point? Three. 37.4. And, um, 37.3. Same species? Same species, same. Same age group almost. Yeah, same age almost, yeah. Can you just have a look at his eye or her? <laughs> oh, she has something on her eye. Eye leech. An eye leech. Yeah. Okay, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> no, too bad when you place that in, a, in fresh water. Mm -hmm. It's not crazy, so. Who's so got some fresh I, water? I do. Okay. Like drinking water. Yeah. I have my bottle. If you just pour that on her. Um, on her eye. Eye. She'll okay. herself. 35.6. That's pretty. Should I get in there? Yeah. I will get my water. That's horrible. How about it? <laughs> now she's shy. She was really curious about this turtle. Do, the, do you tell the children about uh, the turtles? Well, we should have like an outreach program where we have the community, uh, like we do some kind of presentations. Mm -hmm. So with that, we involve even the kids. That's fantastic. Yeah. So the children get to meet the turtles and come to the center. Yeah, we have a... Uh, an education program which you are with the local schools around so we go to their schools and they visit that project so they learn more about the marine environment and especially turtles you may probably see it again with me 35.6 35.5 and 35.6 It's not your first time. What's the Swahili word for turtle? Kasa. 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 Oh, Juguna, you even know it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's your first time to see a turtle? Yeah, it's my first time. Wow. Have you touched it? Uh, no. You, you have to touch it. It's yeah. amazing. Quite smooth as compared to a tortoise. Smoother than a tortoise, yeah. Mm -hmm. That I watch National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not new to me. Are you telling me you're not watching NTV Wild? I usually watch National Geographic. National Geographic, okay. Yeah. Well, so they have like episodes of marine life. Uh, so that's good news that uh, that's how you're learning about these animals because obviously. Most people will never ever see a turtle, so it's great that we have wonderful documentaries to, to learn about them. Six point nine eight five. Oh, it's like a chubby baby. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Yeah, we know the weights of the colors here. So it's only six, nearly seven kilograms in weight. Do ni what do you wanna call it? Does anybody eat these animals? Ah, nobody eats them. Long time ago, they used to eat them, but now the turtle rescue team in. They stopped eating. Really? So even you know about the turtle rescue guys? Oh yeah. So, so people used to eat them, but because of you, Fikiri, you've saved all these turtles. People are not eating them. Not eating them. I'm getting to the community understand the importance of turtles in the marine ecosystem. Yeah. People have been 
very respectful to the animal. Right. We haven't seen so many cases of them being butchered, us, like which has been used in the past. I was hearing that uh, last night there was a nest which hatched. There was a nest that hatched and a nest that was laid at the same time. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, so some babies made it down to the sea. Yes. But what's the main threat? Why, why do you make a runway for them to go down? Why can't they just run? Well, with the runway, it's kind of like preparing them for like a red carpet for them to come out to, so they will not get entangled with the vegetation. They lose some energy trying to free themselves. With that runway, they will have an easy access to the ocean. Are there any predators that can get them before they reach the ocean? Yeah, so many. Like um, when it, they hatch during the night. The ghost crabs are there waiting for them. The ghost crab. The ghost crabs. How does a ghost crab? Does it is it big enough to kill a baby turtle? It is. It is. And it's the main threat around our place. When it happens during the day, the birds are there waiting. Yeah. The mongoose. So there are lots of threats that um, are to baby turtles. Oh. Okay, let's see the tagging of this one. I think we need to give this turtle a name. Anybody got some suggestions? <laughs> Helen. Helen. Oh, I love it. It's nice. Helen. Maybe we should call this turtle Helen. Since Helen is here to watch it and she's really enthusiastic about it. She's been standing here. Helen, how old are you? Una miakangapi? In her too, she's only four years old. Yes. Una penda casa. Helen. Una penda casa. Apana. Oh dear, she doesn't like them. Go for it. Okay. Excellent. She likes to maybe she'll be a vet. But look at all these lovely children who have come to see. They're so disciplined. Sitting, just watching carefully. Wow. Where are you, Baba? Where are you, Baba? Uh-huh. The uncle of Helen. Yeah. Okay. Check the eye. Now, where are you, Baba? Yeah. Who are you? Yes, leave it. Sit on the bed to be on it. Okay. Yeah. So, Baba Gani, who are you? So, he's saying that he doesn't like turtles. So, you see him that you caught to keep a so I guess most of the people they don't know that much about the turtles. They just know that if there's a turtle, you know, you must call local ocean trust and they'll come and rescue it and take care of it. Well, that's great news. So this is too big. Are we going to be able to put the water in its other eye to to remove that horrible thing? We have already done that. And this is what a barnacle. It's a barnacle. It also leaves uh, like the fresh water. Yeah, even with the Oh bones. gosh. Did the, did the leech leave the mouth? The uh, eye? It's a so oh. process with time to detach the barnacle. So that's a barnacle. What is a barnacle? It looks like a horrible parasite. It's a parasite, but it's also a parasite such because usually they detach, I mean they detach themselves into any moving object. Mm -hmm. Could be maybe floating. Timber or something. They actually, yeah, they go on shark on ships and, and stuff. Also. Getting, getting a ride on the animal. Mm -hmm. So this turtle has got a leech on its eye. Hopefully that's going to come off. Isn't this turtle overheating in the sun? Mm. Put it a bit more. Going to take the panel off. Mm. Yeah. How? See, one last look at that eye and see. Oh, Are you going to take the barnacle off? Yes. Does it hinder? The well, animal? well, if there are lots of them, then they end up retardating the speed of swimming. Yeah, got it. So, 
And the leech on the eye. And the guy. So slowly with the pouring of fresh water, it will later detach itself and drop off. What a little beauty, poor thing. It looks a bit tired and maybe a bit stressed from all the attention we've been giving it. It thinks we're going to eat it, poor yep. thing, probably. Well, I hope these children become turtle saviors. Oh. I heard, Fakiri, that uh, Local Ocean Trust is the only organization in the world which does this kind of work. Rescuing turtles from fishermen and releasing them back to the wild. So, I'm sure that everyone who's watching this is going to say thank you, Asante Sana, <laughs> for saving these amazing animals. And Hopefully, she will live a very long life and come back to lay her eggs in Watamwa. Looks like she's sleeping now.